Zoax.net. Lesson 27. Deprecated Elements. The HTML standard changes over time. Fortunately, these changes happen very slowly so that developers have time to adapt to them. However, that also means that features remain with various levels of support. When an element is dropped from the standard, we say that it is deprecated. Deprecated elements may continue to be supported in browsers for some time after they are deprecated. Consider this example with a base font and a font element in it. These are both deprecated. The base font element sets the default font for all elements in the document, while the font element sets the font for the text inside it. Both of these have been dropped from the standard. However, the font is still supported in our browser, as we see when we open this document. Notice that the lower text is blue because it is styled by the font element. If the base font was being used, the top text would be styled differently and would be red. So we can see that the font is still supported while the base font is not. Both of these should be avoided, however, in favor of using CSS for styling. In our second example, we have included the acronym, big, strike, and teletype elements. All of these are deprecated, but are still supported, as we will see. The acronym element has been removed from the standard in favor of the abbreviation element. The big element has been deprecated because it is based on presentation rather than meaning. If you want larger text, you should use CSS styling instead. The strike element has been deprecated, and you should use the delete element instead. Finally, the teletype or TT element has been deprecated in favor of the computer-related elements that we have seen before the keyboard, variable, code, and sample. Opening this document, we see that all of these elements are still supported by my browser, but that may not be the case in the future. Our third example uses the center element to center text and the dir element to create a directory list. Opening this document, we see the centered text and the directory list, indicating that these are both still supported by my browser. However, we should use CSS styling to center text rather than the center element, and directory lists should be replaced by unordered lists in practice. For our fourth example, we revisit some of the elements that we have seen before, small, bold, strike, italics, and underline. These elements are not deprecated, that is, they are still part of the standard, but their use is discouraged. Opening this document, we see that these are all still supported, of course. As we have mentioned before, we should favor strong over bold, delete over strike, emphasis over italics, and insert over underline. The small elements should be avoided, and we should use styling instead. Notice that we use the S element in this document and the strike in a previous example. These are different, but do the same thing. We note that the strike element is deprecated while the S element is not. It is only discouraged. In our final example, we have the frame elements and the applet element. The frame set, frame, and no frame elements are all not supported by my browser. Likewise, the applet element is also not supported, as we see when we open this document. Frames were used to support embedding pages inside of one another. Everything that frames used to do we can still do with iframes and styling. The applet element was previously used to support Java programs. Now we should instead use JavaScript for client-side programming.